Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video we are going to see, introduction to variant exclusion rules. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notified instant once we upload any new video. The most awaited and important feature is here now, in this video, we will show you how you can add automated rules within our app for excluding specific products or certain variants from the feed automatically. This works similarly to the automated rule created for the feed in the Google Merchant Center. We can add a single or multiple combinations of automated rules or conditions to exclude specific groups of products or variants from the feed from specific marketing platforms. You can also have the rule act on conditions independently. To do this, select OR and enter a second condition, so the rule will act on either the first or second condition. If either of the conditions entered are valid, the operation will be applied. For example, you may apply the rule to price less than 40 US dollar or inventory quantity less than or equal to zero. You can also use this feature along with syncing products from a particular collection from your Shopify store for excluding products, as well as channel submission control feature to exclude certain products manually from the feed. Let's see an example of most commonly used automated rules which are used by so many merchants for excluding products or variants from the feed. You will be able to access this feature from our automated rules for feed page of our app Please hover over the settings menu and click on the automated rules for feed option from the drop down menu. Here you will see add button for creating a new automated rule. Please click on it, it will show the name of the attributes for which you can create an automated rule to submit the new values for that particular attribute or overriding current values for the products that fulfill defined conditions under rules. Currently, there is only one option which is excluded destination, but we are also going to add more attributes in the coming days. Let's get started with creating a new automated rule for excluding products or variants based on product prices. Here we are going to create a rule so that any product or variant from women's dresses type which is priced less than 60 US dollars will be excluded from all the destinations of Google. So we will first need to add condition for price by selecting price from the first dropdown. Then select the operator for the condition from the second dropdown. Here we are going to select is less than or equal to option for operator. Then enter the value for price in the last field which will be 60 US dollar for this particular use case. When entering a price, use only the number without the currency. When using equals, make sure the value you enter exactly matches the value in your feed. For example, 60.00 may not be 60 or $60, etc. Values are case insensitive. To enter a second condition to be combined with the first select and. This can be anything, as long as it doesn't contradict the first condition. Here we are going to add product type for the second condition. So we will choose product type from the first drop-down, equals as an operator for the condition, and need to select women's dresses from the third drop-down. Finally, we need to select the destinations from which qualified products or variants need to be excluded. So here we are selecting the surfaces across Google, Google Shopping, Google Display Ads, and Google Shopping Actions, destinations from the set to excluded destination drop-down. After defining conditions and selecting the excluded destinations, please click the OK button. Then click Save as Draft to save the rule as draft. Please make sure to apply rules to save and apply rule to the product feed for excluding products or variants. It will also prompt you for final confirmation for applying the rule, so we are going ahead by pressing Yes, Apply button. It will show the success message once it will start processing the rule. When we check the Manage Products page, we can see that products are showing pending status for Google Shopping and Google Shopping Actions. You might have questions about why it is showing pending status for only two channels. The answer is, we have selected excluded destinations for automated rules which belong to Google only.
so feed for Microsoft, Facebook and XML are untouched. Our app may take about 30 minutes to process the feed and resubmit it to the respective marketing platform. Let's review a few products once it will show the submitted or excluded status within the Manage Products page. This particular women's dress product shows excluded status with the message and errors column that this product is excluded from Google Shopping, Google Display Ads, and surfaces across Google destinations using automated rules. We can also see the info icon along with excluded status in red, if we hover over it, it will show the variant counts which are still being submitted and which are excluded using automated rules. Let's review this product from the inside. At the bottom of the page, in the variants section, there is usually a direct link to view the product in the Google Merchant Center if it is successfully submitted. But as this entire product is excluded from the Google Merchant Center, there is no direct link for Google Merchant Center. Let's double check this product directly in the Google Merchant Center if it is removed from the feed or not. We are using SKU as product ID format to submit the product feed for this demo store. So we will simply copy the SKU value for the first variant and then navigate to the All Products section of Google Merchant Center and filter the products using item ID. As we can see, there is no result matching item ID equals product SKU as shown here. So this product is already removed from the feed. Please note, it may take a couple of hours to remove the products from the Google Merchant Center after applying the automated rules within our app. Now let's see how to remove or delete the automated rules which we have applied earlier to sync all the products back as usual. Please navigate back to the automated rules for feed page. There will be a bin icon just beside the excluded destination title. Clicking on it will again ask for your final confirmation for deleting the rules and resubmit the feed. Here are proceeding ahead to delete the rule by clicking on yes, delete button. This will save the deleted rule in the draft. Finally, we can remove the rule by applying the rules. Now we can see that rule is removed from the app. Upon checking the manage product, the feed is again gone under the pending status. This will be submitted within 30 mins to all the active marketing channels. Let's check the same product again. Now there is a direct link for viewing the product in the Google Merchant Center against each variant. Let's click on direct link to see if the product is now available within Google Merchant Center or not. Please note that it may take about an hour to update the feed within Google Merchant Center to re-include the excluded product. Now product is successfully included in the feed for all the destinations. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels.